Get ready with me for the Billie Eilish concert. Guys, I feel like I've really been on a concert grind recently. Like a few weeks ago, I was just at Sabrina and then Charlie XCX, but I also feel like a lot of artists come here because it's New York City. But yeah, I feel so grateful to be able to go to these, but I'm especially excited for Billy because I keep hearing like the most amazing things about her concert. Yesterday was such a bittersweet day for me because my mom left, so I'm officially back on my own again, but I got to hang out with Scarlett, so that was definitely a big highlight of my day. You win some and you lose some. Anyways, tomorrow I leave for LA and I literally haven't packed anything yet and I don't think I'm gonna be back until later tonight. It's a really quick like two day trip anyways, so I'm just gonna shove like a bunch of outfits into my suitcase and then I think I should be fine. <laughs> I'm going to the concert with Milk Makeup and I'm so excited because they're the freaking best and I've never met the team yet so I'm excited to go and see them. Okay, I'm getting ready like really early because I'm getting dinner first before I actually get to the concert and it's like 4 p.m. right now. Also, nail update. So the extensions are officially off. They've been off for like a few days now and I painted them like red for fall and I really like it but my nails are so weak. Like four of them already broke, like the actual like tip of my nails. And it just feels so fragile. Every time I like hit it with something or like try to open something, it just like flips up. But that's literally what I get for not taking care of my nails properly. I'm so glad I did it though, because if I had my extensions on for like another three months, my nails would probably just all fall off. Also, it is starting to get chilly. Like the wind was blowing so hard the other day and like, it's like crisp now, the air, which I love. Like, this is the best time of the year, in my opinion. I'm about to pull out my puffer jackets. Okay, I'm like not too sure what to wear, but I've been seeing everyone just wear like cute, comfy clothes because that's what Billy's all about, like just being comfortable in your own skin. So I think that's what I'm gonna do, just like jeans. Like, I might just go like this, honestly. Okay guys, it's been like a few hours since the last clip because I was running late, so I had to go and then get dinner. But now I have to leave in 30 minutes because the concert starts in literally 30 minutes. But I'm like not vibing with my outfit anymore. I don't know, like I was really loving it, but now I'm looking at it and I'm kind of like, ugh. Like it's really comfortable, which is what I'm going for, like comfy, cute, but I DK. Also guys, look at the sun setting right now. It's so beautiful, so magical. I keep blowing my nose and then my makeup comes off around here and it's like all red. Okay, my makeup is pretty much done. I'm just gonna do my, oh, This lip balm, actually so freaking insanely good. Okay, this is my outfit right now. I think I will change. Bye guys. So hey guys, get rid of me for college. By the way, this isn't a stain. I just sprayed this glitter spray on me and I'm just waiting for it to dry. So anyway, I start college at quarter past one and it's currently 20 past 11 right now. Let's get ready. But guys, this is my favourite time of the year. Like, I just absolutely love October. And the reason I love it is because it's when we, like, all transition into, like, warm winter clothes, gloves, scarves, Uggs, everything. It's just really exciting because it has a really nice build-up to my birthday every year. Because my birthday is, like, early November, so October just gets me all excited. Because obviously you change into like winter clothes and then you get excited for Halloween and then it's Halloween and then it's bonfire night and then it's my birthday and I just love it. So like this year it has a nice build up because me and Jack are going to go and watch that terror free in the cinema and then it's going to be Halloween on obviously the 31st. We're going to take my sister trick or treating in the car, you know, get our, get our places right and we're going to go pumpkin picking. Me and Jack are going to go pumpkin picking. We get to call pumpkins and then on the 1st of November... Uh, we're going to a Halloween party and we get to dress up. And then on the 5th of November, it's bonfire night. And then on the 8th, it's my birthday. So I just love the build up. And then a week after my birthday, it's my mum's birthday. And then we just get to start getting excited for Christmas. Because then after that, it's like the time when we got to get buying presents and we start our advent calendars and start wrapping them, putting them under the tree. And I just love it. Oh, I love it. I just love the build up. It's just so nice. So yeah, but I do need to get loads of my clothes because I literally sold like half of my wardrobe on Vinted. And now everything that's in my drawers are like things that I don't wear but I'm just holding on to for no reason. And I actually bought these new jeans the other day and I've not stuck tugger because I've not decided if I like them or not. Right, just look. I just, I just don't know. 
I'm just not a jean type of person. I never wear jeans and I want to wear jeans and I just don't know. Well, no, do you want to know what my issue is? My shoes always have to match my outfit very, very well. Otherwise, I can't wear it. Anyways, I'm having a slight panic attack because I can't find my Rare Beauty brow gel. It's fine, I found it. I might need to get a new one of these because I'm actually kind of <sighs> running out. Mm. I'm not having a good day. I don't know why my... Oh, here it is. Never mind. My lips are going really chapped, so I'm not going to put any, like, lip gloss, anything on them. Just need to put some of this on it so that it stays good. And is it just me who's literally obsessed with the taste of this? Like, I don't know why, but it tastes so toxic but so good. Anyways, guys, so the plan for now is I'm going to pack my bag, make sure I put this in there, my AirPods, my phone charger, um, fill up my new bottle. Look at this bottle I got. You can have like hot drinks and it opens like this for like hot drinks and it's leak proof. Could you even see like, that hole there? And then here it has like a straw. How cool. So I'm just gonna make sure that I've got everything in my bag that I need and then I'm gonna go make myself um tea cake, fill up my bottle, and then I'm gonna go. Because I'm gonna try and get like there a little bit early just so I can look at all my work because my laptop is so bad like i literally couldn't do anything on it last night i literally just had to give up anyways guys love you all gonna go i've decided i'm gonna keep the jeans i just need to step out of my comfort zone and wear jeans <laughs> But none of us are like really ready. Well, like they're ready, but like nobody's like prepared because it's like, like it was like quick, you know. So the reason we guys are early is because our seats are on the floor, and like our friend like skips Monday to like, get like actual priorities, but we didn't do that. I didn't bring brow gel, which is a little bit stupid, but um, yeah, we're just gonna go to the bar and get some food. So I think we're gonna go to the bar. Yeah, we're gonna go to the bar. This week is like a lot of late nights because last night I also was in the city for like my mom's work event. So I'm honestly just like really tired. But like we're pushing through. This eyelash color is low key broken, so I might pull out my lashes. I'm really excited because I did see Billy in sixth grade. Anyway, so I used to be like a really big Billy fan. And I saw her in sixth grade. Oh, sorry. But that was her on the fall sleep where we go to work. And now we're here, and the sixth grade me would be like freaking out because I had horrible seats last time. And yeah. I'm also gonna stop because she's singing Male Fantasy, and that is my favorite Billy song. Okay, I'm using Makeup by Mario on right now, and the lighting. <laughs> oh my god, the switch. That was like actually the biggest thing you've ever done. I'm attempting to do eyeliner, it's not gonna work out. This is like we're on a train. No. Okay, this is kind oh. of like getting more difficult by the second. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. Merch? Wait, well, can we just hold on a button? No, I asked her if she got on it. Well, she got on it earlier. Because I don't know. You don't see that sweat there? Okay, I'm like, sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. Hi, okay. guys. Okay, ready with me using new skincare products. I bought the Caudalie spray and the Caudalie serum for dark spots. So we're trying those today. I've never tried this brand before, so I'm really excited. Ooh, the smell is... Strong. The Tour Secret Fashion Show yesterday was, uh, uh, was so beautiful. I love Gigi's wings when she opened the show. Her wings moved like. I did think it was gonna last like two hours or something, but it lasted 44 minutes. And I loved seeing the icons there like Adriana Lima, Bella Hadid, Candice. Mm, I love the smell of this serum. This one I love. I'm seeing a lot of negative um, reviews about the show. Like people are not happy how the Victoria's Secret Fashion Show turned out. They said it was too simple, too boring. I love Bella Hadid and I'm really sad that she only got to walk like once because she's an icon. Like I thought I would see her a lot of different cool outfits, but no, she only walked once. The only thing that I didn't like about the show was the interviews. I didn't recognize anybody. I only liked Dylan Sprouse's interview. Like it was so so cute. Other than him, I didn't recognize anybody else, so I wasn't really interested when I saw the interviews, like I wasn't even paying attention. I was actually scrolling through Victoria's Secret website. But if I had to pick one like favorite outfit from the show, it has to be Lisa's 
outfit in her second performance favorite wings Gigi Hadid's wings like, they were so iconic it would have been nice if they interviewed like celebrities or something or like see who was there because we didn't even get to see the guests who was sitting in the crowd whether it's influencers or celebrities I don't care but it would have been nice to see like who's there what are they wearing i think that a lot of people were expecting the show to be like more in the early 2000s with the crazy outfits the themes like the extravaganza not gonna lie i kind of was expecting that too but i was not disappointed like the show was really nice and i really enjoyed it since it was a comeback i did think that they were gonna do something crazy as someone who's 5'5 five five and has tried modeling i was so happy to see short models on the runway such as kate moss and her daughter they're i think they're 5'5 five five as well so it's kind of iconic to see like short models as victoria's secret models wait i'm getting ready for work i forgot to say that i don't mind the magic mic music in the background ciao hey guys get ready with me for school okay so what a week it's been like not this week but the past week into this week i literally feel so drained from life right now I haven't been able to eat, shower, or go to the gym. I haven't been to the gym in like three days. But it's okay because today is a new day. And hopefully it's better than the past days. Anyways, so yesterday night, Snapchat decided to lock me out of my account for violating their community guidelines. Pardon? Like, I don't even post on Snapchat. Literally, the only time I post is to like my very private story, which there's only like 10 people on. So Snapchat, you better fix your BS because I have memories on there from fourth grade and I cannot lose those. I've literally been so stressed and haven't been able to relax this week. And my acne is getting worse because of it. And I don't know why, but for some reason I can really never relax. Like I always feel stressed. So clearly I'm just always going to have acne. Anyways, did anybody watch the Victoria's Secret fashion show yesterday? Because I literally thought it was perfect. The music, the models literally everything i've missed that so much i literally screamed when i saw adriana that's how excited i was all right guys lashes are done and they're looking all right they could be better anyways my my baby sister said to me the other day how could anybody ever love a girl with pimples on her face that was kind of sad for me because i literally have pimples everywhere I'm so excited for Halloween, but like I kind of haven't ordered my costume yet and I don't know what I'm going to be. I have like so many options and I have a lot of stuff in my Amazon cart, but I just like can't decide. I got my eyebrows done on Monday and they actually are looking really good. I love when I get my eyebrows done, but I hate the process. It actually hurts so bad, but the lady I go to eats every time. So my eyebrows always look good because of her. I'm not excited for school today, but I'm just going to push through and yeah. Anyways, so when is Thanksgiving break? <coughs> that setting spray literally just burned my lips off because my lips have been so dry. Anyways, Snapchat, if you're seeing this, literally give me my account back. I didn't do anything wrong and I'm going to cry because I don't have Snapchat right now and I'm literally going to cry. All right. Bye guys, thanks for watching today's Gear with me. Guys, let's get ready for dance together. I have ballet tonight. I usually have another class afterwards, but it's been cancelled, so I've only got ballet. I think it's an hour. I'm not too sure. I'm just running a hair mask through my hair so that I can slick it back in a bun. I found this one, I didn't even know I owned it. It's from L'Oreal and it's a absolute one. I don't know what it is. It smells really good though, and I have so many L'Oreal hair masks. And I just absolutely love them, so I'm just pin and free my hair looks absolutely crazy right now so yes it is 20 to 5 and i'm still in my pajamas from last night because i've had the most boring day i can't lie to you i've been sorting out my wardrobe i've been getting all my summer clothes out and like i'm putting them in bags put in the loft because my wardrobe is actually gonna break with the amount of clothes so um i'm just doing a winter wardrobe and then i'm gonna do a summer wardrobe when obviously the weather gets better guys i stayed up last night to watch the victoria's secret runway show and i absolutely loved it i saw so many negative things on my for you page but i do think like they should have gave adriana and stuff like the proper bombshell hair because that's what like the classic vs runway shows were but i still think it looks really good i'm just gonna leave my hair in a ponytail for now and then i'll put it up in a bun once i've done my skincare and i'm gonna just put on mascara i think i don't know 
maybe a bit of concealer because I did stay out really late last night. That's just Tommy's cooked me duck rolls for dinner and oh my gosh, that's like my favourite food ever. It tastes so good. I'm so excited for that. I have not worn mascara for the past week and my lashes have actually grown a bit. I think because I've just given them a break, they're just like growing naturally. Oh my gosh, guys, my mum got me this liquid eye and stuff that I have to take because I'm low on iron, like in my blood and it tastes absolutely disgusting like i had a i have to have a teaspoon every day and oh oh my god it's actually so bad i didn't do dance at all last week because i was ill so my body i just know it's gonna ache after today my back is already hurting i don't know why but i think my back just hurts because i'm a dancer if you're a dancer your back always hurts okay mascara's all done it's not really eating i can't lie but i'm just gonna pop on a tiny bit of concealer just because i've got like some under eye bags right now i just looked up and my mascara literally just went everywhere what on earth my mum came in my room the other day to do her makeup because she had a party and she like used all my stuff and now i've just lost half of it so i don't know where it's gone i don't know whether she's put it in her makeup drawer or whatever but i can't find my beauty blender so we're having to use this brush okay here's today's little ballet fit i've got this little lewis huddle with a cross back and then this little skirt from block i think it is i'm gonna go have some food and then i'll put my hair up in a bun bye guys it's game day fools guys uh, i have a lisp <laughs> as we all should know i knocked my bottom teeth out in a game one time and so they finally put like my little invisalign on me but it's like not it has brackets i don't know but i can't speak <laughs> so i want everybody to just look past that that don't matter i started braiding my hair in the car while i was waiting for my little brother to get out of school because my mom made me go get him today so that's why half my hair is already done look at that progress has already been made so still braiding oh lord have mercy I'm trying to get done fast too because me having to get cruise really put a big old bit in my time so i just finished that one now i'm parting off another section for my hair okay tell me why the two that i did in the car are way better than the two that i just did in my mirror so now I'm just going to slick the rest of my hair back into a ponytail. Okay, here's what we're looking like. Now, the pink bow. And guys, guess what? I am not in the gold today. Okay, so the pink bow just makes it 10 times cuter every single time. Okay, so for the ponytail, I think I'm going to do like two braids, if you've seen that. So I'm going to start by splitting it in half, like this way, not down the middle, through the back. Now I'm just going to do like a little more braid down the back. This one I'm going to do. It was supposed to be really hot today, but I put on my layers and now I'm like about to work a sweat doing my hair. I can't even imagine running right now. Okay, and then I'm just going to do the same thing for this one. Section off into three and then do a normal braid down the back. Oh, naughty hair. Here's what it looks like. I have no idea. And then should I put two little pink bows at the bottom? Mm, I feel like it looks like rat tails. Well, that looks like rat tails, so I'm just going to leave it straight. Happy game day! Okay, tell me if it looks good. Um, does it look cutie or no? Should I do something to the ponytail? Comment. I'm going to post this early. Okay, I'm not even kidding. Today's been the longest day. I look crazy because I'm feeling a little crazy. Like, my brain has not been able to stop. Also, there's so much fluff going on. Sorry. Okay, I didn't even realize that I had this in my hair. I was laying down editing a video, and I guess this was in my hair. But anyways, um, I have been packing for Florida. I'm really stressed, you guys, because I don't know what I can bring on a plane. I haven't really traveled. A lot in my life like I traveled to um, Florida probably like three years ago I'd say I don't even remember how I how I did it like I don't know you need certain sizes to travel with like size thingies I can't bring this and it's my skincare and so I don't really know what to do anyways on a side note I am so excited to go to Florida because I'm gonna see my little baby cousin he's just born and he is so cute you guys I'm gonna have baby fever it's gonna be really bad and Wesley is not gonna want to hear from me I'm gonna be like talking about this baby every second jump scare because i'm about to take my eyelashes off and i look like kind of a different person when i take my eyelashes off told you 
Anyways, as I was saying, today has been really crazy because I feel like I haven't really stopped. I went to pick up my grandma, we went and ate lunch, and we also went grocery shopping. Right when I got home, I had to film a video and then I had to edit that up. I feel like making the video just took forever, so I don't know. Let me just say I am really excited to sleep. My body's definitely telling me I need to calm down and just rest. I probably won't even be able to get right in bed after this because I have so much stuff on my bed. I have to clear it all off. I just finished my skincare and now I'm gonna attempt to braid my hair. My mom is always braiding my hair just because I really don't know how. I'm using my whole entire hand doing this because I have no idea how people use their fingertips to braid. How's it looking? Cute guys. <laughs> Before. It literally looks so comfy. We're gonna cuddle. Are you excited? Okay, don't mind his eyes. I need to clean them. Let's go. Oh. I am so excited to sleep. Anyways, good night, good morning, wherever you are. I'm going to sleep, but I love you, and I'll see you later. Hey, guys. Get on ready with me. I have something that I want to talk to you about. So, I'll tell you what it is, and then I'll tell you I don't know. I'm from the Tigers. Right, so I'm um, she's not with me go ask to and Basically guys, I wanna know if any of you have been to Disney like like on Christmas Day. So like say like the twenty third to twenty seventh. Um because I think yeah, twenty third, twenty seventh, all around Christmas, the week of Christmas do I mean? I'd say that's the week, do I mean? Um so let me know um has anyone been because we are thinking of going on christmas day um to disney because we're super obsessed with disney and i think it'd be so so good i feel like everyone's like their whole household's always wants to go to disney on christmas day and i'm so excited because like yeah who wouldn't be excited to go to disney because it's not definite but we, we're thinking about it we're looking looking into it Bit of over. So yeah, if anyone been to Disney um, at Christmas, I've always sorry, sorry guys, she's using some makeup. Um, I've I've always seen people on the TikTok. I'm gonna go and have a little scroll now. Um, and have a look. Nothing definite, guys, but I'm hoping maybe maybe not, but maybe yeah. Um, so I'm gonna go have a look there. But let me know when you've been to on Christmas. Think it's good and like. Just let me know what happens while you're there at Christmas show me in. Um so yeah. Right, I'm just gonna do a little bit more skincare. I'm just gonna use some oh okay, some moisturizer. What a glow. My skin hurts. <laughs> we're gonna use, I'm covering it for myself, a mystery Pierre-Louis conditioner, and we're gonna try and guess. Scent. That's definitely where it's the ripple. It has to be. This is my favourite Pierre-Louis scent. And it, yeah. It is a raspberry ripple. Yeah, raspberry ripple. Definitely the raspberry ripple one's my favourite scent. I don't know where my lip oil has gone to it though, but I'm gonna have to go and find that. Um, but that is me done. Let me just brush my brows with a spoon actually. If I do go to um Disney for Christmas, then I'll be only getting my lashes um lifted and tinted and my brows. Um that's why I got laminated, I think, and uh, and tinted because honestly, like my lashes are still there now, same with my brows, but like I want to get them redone right before I go for Christmas because it'd be like in the in the bedroom. Um, but that's me done. Bye, guys. Look at my nubs. I can't. I need nails. Yo, I'm sorry. I didn't make it. Get rid of these. I was at basketball practice at six twenty-five in the morning. Yeah, and that's for those who didn't know I was a baller. And basically, with that being said, I didn't get ready at my house. I got ready at school. My best friend's literally not coming to school today because she's sick. Like, who told her that she could not come to school today? Like, that is so rude. I have an a money in my brain. Uh, my 
eyebrows have been looking wacko recently, so hopefully they look slight today. Um, I completely forgot blush. What was I doing? Anyway. Hold the phone, y'all. <laughs> Christmas is in 70 days. Like, one. Okay, lashes. For perfume, I'm gonna wear my way. Okay, fit check. Um, on cloud, American Eagle. My school thing. I don't have any bracelets on. And then Kendra Scott, H&M, H&M. Okay, I'm actually gonna burn off my pieces today because they look disgusting. Okay, peace, y'all. I almost failed high school. Let's talk about it. So this is going to be a story about chronic pain and there's also some mentionings of mental health. So if you find those topics triggering, then now is your time to scroll. So when I was nine years old, I started to experience migraines. Migraines are quite trivialized in my opinion. People use the term migraine and headache interchangeably, but they're not the same thing. The main difference between a migraine and a headache is the pain. Yes, headaches can be very painful, but in general, migraines are very intense and are considered much worse in terms of pain. Also, migraines have different characteristics than headaches. Migraines are usually in one part of your head. As well, migraine pain is not consistent throughout the episode. It usually starts off as mild and then will start to ramp up throughout the period of the migraine until eventually it reaches a peak and that peak can last anywhere from like four hours to a few days. Migraines also have a lot of side effects and warning signs. So for me, I would usually get like a pain behind my eyeball before a migraine would come on. This is also when you can get visual auras and following this, I'd feel really dizzy and confused and it would be hard to form sentences. As well, migraines come with nausea. You usually feel really nauseous before the migraine comes on, you might throw up. I would throw up during the migraine a lot. When you have a migraine, you have an extreme sensitivity to light and sound. If I was in a really bright room when the migraine would start to kick in, the migraine would progress much faster. And if I stayed in a really bright room, then the migraine would be much more painful. And after the migraine is over, you're still not 100% in the clear. There's this thing called like a migraine hangover. Basically, you feel extremely tired. It's really difficult to concentrate and you just feel like overall kind of foggy. So it's much different than just a headache. That's all the information you need on migraines. So when I was nine, I started to experience migraines. At this point, I experienced episodic migraines. So that meant that I experienced them less than 15 days out of the 30 days of the month. So I would still maybe get them like two to three times a week, but they weren't at chronic level. But when I started getting migraines, we went to visit a pediatrician. And at this time, they told us the only treatment was just Tylenol and Advil. So I was experiencing migraines with really no treatment and I was having to phone my mom multiple times a week to come and pick me up from school, which obviously caused tension with my mom's employer because work from home wasn't really a thing back then. But that's how my migraines started. And I would continue to get them episodically for the next few years. Going into high school, my migraines started to increase a lot more. In grade eight, they were definitely episodic but by grade nine, they were chronic. So they were happening more than 15 days out of the 30 days of the month. So I was missing a lot of school and I had a doctor's note explaining that I suffer from migraines. But in all honesty, a lot of people do not take migraines seriously. I was often told that I need to learn how to work through the pain, that everyone gets headaches and that school is really important and I just need to kind of suck it up. My mom always had my back 100% by the way, but not everyone else was like that. I found the whole narrative of like, you just need to learn how to deal with the pain and suck it up and everyone deals with it to be quite frustrating because for one, not everyone does deal with migraines. And two, I actually am quite academically motivated. I like learning, I like attending school, but I was not able to because of the pain I was in, also because of the side effects of the migraine. Even if I was to work through it, I couldn't properly form thought. I couldn't pay attention to the lesson. The environment of the bright lights and the noise is not suited for migraines. During this time in grade nine, most teachers would not offer accommodations for my migraines. Most of the time I was told that it was my responsibility. If I miss school, I need to figure out how to catch up. So in my first semester of grade nine, I was failing most of my classes. I was so behind on all my classes. I didn't even know where to start. And experiencing chronic pain every day and missing school and feeling judged by people, it's not hard to imagine that I experienced a lot of anxiety. I was anxious about missing school. I was anxious about being so behind on school. I was anxious about being in pain all the time. I was really anxious to attend class and talk to my teachers. I was basically just a giant ball of anxiety. So I guess now would be the appropriate time to talk about the causes of migraines. So it's debated what truly causes migraines. It varies from person to person, but I was told by my doctor, I get migraines because of genetic factors and then environmental factors can trigger it and make it worse. And anxiety is a trigger for migraines. So I basically got into this cycle where I would get a migraine and I'd be anxious because I got a migraine and then because 
because I'm anxious, I was getting more migraines. So midway through grade nine, I ended up withdrawing from school, mainly because I was failing because I wasn't attending much school, but also because we were trying to break this cycle of anxiety. So I ended up enrolling in online school for the rest of grade nine. This was not the best learning environment for me. It was good in that you could learn on your own time. So if I got a migraine, it's not like I was missing class, but I would still get migraines. So the workload would pile up and it was really hard to hold myself accountable, especially since in the online environment, you're teaching yourself most of the material. So I barely managed to pass grade nine and my migraines got good enough that I could attend school again in person for grade 10. Sometime during my online school in grade nine, I got referred to a neurologist. And this is when I got actual treatment for my migraines. I wasn't just taking Tylenol and Advil. There was like a whole slew of medication that I could take. None of these cured me, but they definitely made the migraines more manageable. So I get back to school in grade 10. I have this neurologist who has a letter to give to my teachers to explain what migraines are and how I can be accommodated. Next part gets messy. I don't wanna get into all the details, but basically in short, my school told us that they don't have the resources to be able to accommodate me. Even with the doctor's notes, a lot of teachers did not want to accommodate me. That's all the time I have, so go to part two. No. Yes. 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 Hi guys, get ready me for bed. So it is quarter to eight, so it's not like that early, but it's not that late. Like, to be getting ready for it. Ignore this on my telly. I'm trying to get the Prime open, but I don't know what the password is for my account, so. Well, I don't think it's that. I think my mom and dad just, like, cancelled the thing. Like, the subscription, because we just didn't need it. But, like, now's the time that I want to go watch something on it. I don't even know what I want to watch. I just want to browse. Like, the time I want to watch something. It's cancelled. But, yeah. Hello, everyone. So, today was Wednesday, so half day in school. But technically not really a half day because I have after school sports and um, basketball. So uh, I finish a half an hour early on Wednesday with basketball. Because my half day, like the whole school finishes at two. But then the basketball goes on for an hour. Two till three. So I get out at three every Wednesday. Which is like fine. But you know, it's only a half an hour. So it's kind of like all my friends in different skills get out at like 12 and everything like we get out too but i had a really good classes today because wednesday is like my best timetable i have um it's irish like that's not good but you know we roll with that that's like the worst class of the day and then i have digital literacy and then i have p does that just change or is that just me um so Wait, what was I saying? Yeah, digital literacy and then P because we have three classes before break on Wednesday because of the half day we only get one break because the day's shorter. Um, and then after break I have English and religion, my two favourite classes together. So it's really good. Oh, I didn't even know it was recording. To be fair though, last year my Wednesday timetable was so, so good as well. Um, It was, what was it? CSP, which is such like a good class, and love the teacher. It's kind of like a DOS class, but not really. Um, last year it was CSP, religion, home ec. Home ec was probably like the worst class the other day, or and art. Um, so CSP, religion, then it was home ec, and then break, and then English, and then art. So every Wednesday and Thursday last year, last class was art. So, yeah. Didn't really mind that, but it was a bit of a trek because we have so many buildings in our school. So the one that I have art on, it's on the fourth floor. Yeah. So I had to come down like a hundred flights of stairs every, what's it called, Wednesday and Thursday after school. And the locker rooms will be jam-packed because we couldn't get there in time because we were running down the stairs. Also, my nails popped off and this is so sore. But yeah, I'm gonna go figure out how to do this because I do not know. No, I know how to do it, I just don't know the password. So, yeah. Bye guys. Hey guys, get ready with me for school. So if you didn't see already, I got my hair done and I cut it quite a bit. I love it so much. It's so healthy, so blonde. Like, I didn't know I could get this blonde. And I really like the length actually. But I'm gonna just curl it because 
I curled it or like got it curled after my appointment. But they were like loose curls so they didn't stay in overnight. So I'm going to just redo it this morning. Shouldn't take me very long though. I can't believe how short I got it though. Like this is the shortest I've had my hair since I was a little kid I think. But I like it. Alright so I just curled it. I'm going to get dressed now. Okay so it's 30 degrees out right now so I'm wearing a crew neck today. I don't like to wear shirts under my crew necks, so I'm just bringing a scrub top to change into if I need to. But if I'm not, like, doing a facial or anything like that, I'm not going to take this off. I just can't believe how short my hair is. But literally, it feels so healthy and soft and just clean. I love it. And my lashes are still intact, so safe to say I'm a pro now. And these are going to last me forever. And I'm literally, like, sleeping like normal, washing my face, like... Not normal, obviously, because I'm not getting my eyes wet, but, like, it's not hard to not get them wet. I'm not going to put any concealer, like, over here where I said I was breaking out because I just want to leave it. It's getting better already, but putting concealer over it just makes it feel gross. So, guys, be honest. Do I look older or younger now that I chopped my hair? Because I feel like I look younger, but my mom said I look older, and some people were commenting that I look older on, like, my transition video. Also, thank you guys for all the nice comments. I love, like, when I get my hair done or something, and I go through all the comments, and everybody's just, like, hyping it up. I love it. And I do actually read the comments. I just don't really respond to a lot of them, because I feel like if I respond to one and not the other, then that's, like, rude. So I just try and like them all. But I do read them, and I appreciate it. But anyways, I don't know. I kind of feel like I look older now. Just like with the short hair and my eyelashes. I don't know. But I don't want to look younger, so hopefully I don't. Also, when I showed my brother my hair, and I was like, do you see anything different? He was like, no. I had to tell him that I cut my hair. I'm pretty sure this is a noticeable enough cut to like actually be able to tell. But he does not notice anything, so. But also, my appointment literally lasted like two and a half hours. That's it. Normally, it's like four hours. Because the shorter and shorter I'm going with my hair and, like, the healthier it's getting, the faster the appointments go. And it's great. But, a little bit sad news. So, the girl who does my hair is pregnant and going on maternity leave, like, the beginning of November or the end of October. And my next appointment isn't until the end of February. So, yeah, basically over the whole winter, like, Christmas, New Year's everything my trip to mexico i'm gonna be brunette but good thing we got it really blonde this time and cut it so that by that time it'll be grown out <laughs> but like i don't know if i can wait that long like i'm very high maintenance i get mine done like once every two months normally so it's gonna be a really big challenge for me and i'm scared of what i'm gonna look like so yeah if i look brunette in the winter that's why i never want to wash my hair after getting it done though like, I try to make it last as long as I can because I just love how soft and, like, nice it feels after I get it done. And then as soon as I wash it once, it does not feel like that anymore. Shoot. But I don't really know what we're doing at school today. I don't think there's anything, like, specifically happening. So it's just going to be a day of normal stuff. Tomorrow, we have another phase class. And we're going... Sorry, I just lost my voice. We're going to Ulta and Sephora, like, as a class, and we're going to, like, look into the ingredients in skincare. So, that should be fun. But I'm going to just comb out my hair and then put some oil in it, probably. The first time I wash it is going to be, like, when you're going like this, and then you're like, where did my hair go? Like, it just ends so much sooner. Okay, so there's the final hair and makeup. I'm going to do my lips quick. I kind of want Starbucks, but I also could just bring a bubbler instead. Not I kind of want Starbucks. I want Starbucks, obviously, but I don't know if I'm going to go or not. I literally love lining my lips. Like, it makes such a big difference. Or at least I think it does. I don't know why I'm losing my voice. Okay, guys, so we're all ready. I think I'm going to use my Billie Eilish perfume today. Okay, guys, here's the final outfit. <laughs> 